Hello everybody. My name is David and this is only my opinion. Tech. What we did in the last video is I tried to explain how to get my audio from a lav mic into an external device, whether it be a camera, recorder, a wireless option, or whatever, or directly into a phone. Today, what I'm doing is I'm using my AGD mic. I'm going to use the AGD mic on all the devices. That's not what comes with the Comica wireless transmitter. But I want to try to make it as fair as possible, so I'm using the same mic for everything. I got it on the outside of my shirt, so you can see that that's what I'm using. What I plan to do today is I'm going to record into the task cam. I'm going to record directly into the uh, memo pad in the iPhone 7 Plus. I'm going to give you some audio straight from this iPhone, and this is an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let you, and it's, I don't know, four, four and a half feet away, something like that. Let you hear what the audio directly from the phone sounds like, and then. I'm going to put it all into Luma Fusions. But what I'm going to do today, I'm going to edit all of this. So the next thing coming up is going to be what all of these sound samples sound like. And then if you're interested, I'll show you the workflow. So I'll move to another location with an overhead camera. I'll show you the workflow to move this into Luma Fusion and how to sync the audio so that you don't look like you're in a bad... Uh, Chinese Kung Fu movie. So the next thing coming up is the audio samples from all of these devices. Okay, we got this going and I'll show you this is how we synchronize the audio so that we can find the right place in the video. This is audio clip number 316. Sync. That gives us a marker to line everything up with. So we're actually listening on the task cam. I've got the TRS adapter plugged into this device, and it is uh, adapting a TRRS to TRS specifically for this. I'm not going to give you a lot of audio with this. We're just lo looking for a sample. So this is a sample with the uh, task cam, and I will change it over. I'll let you listen to a little audio from the iPhone itself. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, and then when I come back, I'll come back with the iPhone in the memo pad. All right, this is this is just the sound from the iPhone. And I don't know what the levels are. I'll try to level everything up as much as I can so that we're not listening, just hearing differences in audio levels. So let me uh, remove. Let me tell you what I'm doing after. I know I'm pretty sure you can hear me. Voice recorder, track number 10, audio sync. Now that gives us our marker. I'll show you that in the workflow. And what I had to do was take the uh, TRS adapter off and put the lightning adapter on. So we're just using the factory app for the iPhone 7 Plus. And it's probably the same app for all the iPhones. This isn't what I personally use, but it's a cheap option. I mean, you could get an old iPhone 5 or, or an old iPhone 4 maybe and do the same thing. Anything that's got AirDrop so you can move it over to your iPad or you can edit right in your iPhone. So I'm going to make this kind of short. I just want to show you the difference. So now we've got some audio from the task cam. We've got some raw audio from the camera and we've got some audio from this iPhone 7 Plus. If anybody's interested, I'm going to move downstairs so I can get an overhead view on my iPad, move all of this stuff over, and I'll show you how you synchronize it and see if it's a, a doable option for you. Now we're on my uh, messy project bench now. Uh, the drive that I use, I've got the SD card out of the task cam in here. It's an anchor. It's got USB inputs. Um, got a PD dock on it. It will accept a micro SD. It's got an HDMI output, a USB-C. See if we, I can put a little external hard drive on this now. And then the two USB drives. I've got my music and a few uh, random video files on there. What we're going to do now, we're going to airdrop this over to the iPad. And we're on recording number 10. Just hit the share button. Airdrop. Sending it to my iPad. I won't make you wait on that. And this will be in files. Everything has been airdropped over. 
I've started the project in Luma Fusion. We're going to bring this down here. This is the first clip. This is our second clip. They haven't been edited, so they're completely raw. And of course, this is the way I start off my videos. I have to walk and go sit down. I'm not going to tinker with the green screen because I don't want to muddy this up any at all. So now we need to bring over the audio files to go with this video. We've got our two video clips in. Now what we're going to do is bring over the audio clips. And the first one is over in files, should be under DR07. Oh, there it is. And we're going to drop this under the video file. And this is our next video file. And that's the one where we did the iPhone. And that is going to be under imported. So we're going to drag this one over. Try to keep my hand out of the way as much as I can. This is not something that I usually do. I'm not really set up for this very well. You can see these audio spikes, and there's some in the video from the camera itself, and we're going to use those. So go back to the beginning, and let me find where these overlap, and then I'll show you how we set them up. I might as well show you how this starts off because I started the recorder, the video, and the audio recording at com two completely different times. So this is what you're going to have. Let me turn the volume up on here a little bit so you can be able to hear it. Okay, we got this going. And I'll show you See, this I haven't even sat down yet. So what I have to do is figure out where I actually turn this on. And that's going to be quite a ways back. This looks like where I started talking. You can see the squiggly lines there. So most likely, let me just go ahead and clip this off. And I'm going to get rid of the front part of this. We're going to unlink them first so I don't kill this one. Now that, that moved it over. So we're looks like we're pretty close. And see where I clap? You can see it matches my hand movement, and then here's the claps in the audio track down here. So what we're going to do, we're going to zoom in on this. We're going to move, let's see, I've got to trim some of the front of this off so it'll, because I can't have the audio in front of the video, and it doesn't matter too much where I trim it. It's right about there, hit the scissors, hit that. Now it's not going to move because the, it's not linked to the video right this minute. So we're going to move it back to the beginning and somewhere around there looks pretty close. So we'll go back to where I clapped. There it is. Yeah, I got it. I got it about one frame off. So we'll pull this down and move it over by one frame. And now we don't need this audio track up here anymore, so I'm going to actually completely remove that audio track because now we should be in sync. Hit this little button here that removes that. This is the audio track from the video. So we're going to highlight that. We're going to delete it. Now we, if we play this, my mouth should be moving in sync with the audio, and I'll make it bigger so you can see it. Okay, we got this going, and I'll show you this is how we synchronize the audio so that we can find... So that looked like that worked really well. This is audio clip number 31. All right, so now I'm going to go synchronize the other piece and just click on here that takes me to the end of each clip. So the same thing here, I started talking here well before I sat down. Voice recorder 
track number 10, audio sample. And I, I heard distortion in that, so it actually clipped. So I'll go over here, find where I'm actually starting to move my mouth. Okay, it looks like I started talking somewhere around there. So I'm going to clip this top piece, unlink it first so I don't delete both of them. When they're linked together, it's going to delete both of them. So I clip this, delete the front part of that where I'm moving over to go sit down. And then if I play this, you'll hear both tracks and you'll see that they're not synchronized at all. Voice recorder. Voice recorder. So the blue track is ahead of this one which means I'm going to have to trim some of this off to get them to match. See where I started talking? Voice recorder. So you can hear it's much louder. So I'm going to trim the voice recorder track right there so that I can move it over. And this is why I prefer to synchronize everything by not having to synchronize it. This is why I use a wireless option, but I will just show you for any people that all oh, got that one, I actually hit that one the first try. Let me zoom in. Yeah, I got that one lined up on the first try. So we're going to go back up here and we're going to unlink the audio out of this track. Now we're going to delete that audio. And so again, you'll see where I clap my hands. 10 audio sync. So everything's. Everything syncs. So now you're listening to the track from the audio recorder in the memo pad. And on this one, this one is going to be listening to the audio track. Okay, we got this going. And I'll show you this is how we synchronize the audio so that we can find the right place in the video. This is audio clip number 316. Sync. So, so that's how you do that, and I'm just going to throw this in on, to, on the end of the video, and I'll, I'll even uh, render this, and this is, this is going to be what you're going to hear before all of this mumbo-jumbo. So I'm going to render this piece, and then I'm going to put the other pieces in there, and I'm going to cut all the dead spots out, and you'll see what it looks like. And this is the workflow if you have external audio. So that's why I find it much easier to record with a, a direct wired connection or with a wireless connection. Then you don't have to do all of this stuff here. The audio and the video is always in sync. If anybody made it through all that, I appreciate it. And I got a lot of other stuff to go over and we'll go over lighting and stuff in the future. But I wanted to get the sound out of the way because I, I really, really, really think that's important. And I'm, I'm back on my normal Comica mic and back on my wireless setup so I don't have to edit that. And I want to tell you, it's not as complicated as it seems in the video. It's a little tedious in there, but it's, it's more because I'm trying to show you what I'm doing and I'm not really sitting at a good angle to see the iPad. So it's not as bad as it might have seemed in there, but it is much easier if you don't have to sync the audio and you don't have to import the audio separate from the video. Other than that, it's really not that bad. And you can get some really decent sound that way. We're going to go over some other recording options. I want to show you if you want to do streaming, if you want to do a podcast. I want to show you some mic setups for that, some boom arms and some other stuff. So if you've got questions, you've got comments, throw them in there. Let me know that somebody's listening to this and I'll, I'll keep building this uh, for the next year anyway. So, and you know, maybe I'm not doing it right. If I'm not doing something right, let me know. Check these videos out. I'll catch you in one of those or I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for stopping by.